Hello there guys and welcome, it is Niran here and today it's time for me to welcome you back to yet another episode of FIFA 17 players to watch out for. This is of course the series where I bring you 10 players per week that are going to be absolute monsters on FIFA 17 of course before the ratings or the potentials have even been announced. This is based on whether they're already good on FIFA 16 or because of their performances in real life like goals and assists for their club and for their country. Now first of all I've got to apologise for two things, a uh, lack of videos on this channel recently uh, and also the fact that this video is up on Thursday not Wednesday. I apologise for that second thing first if that makes any sense uh, but the reason why there's been no videos recently is because I've been away I did schedule some videos but when I got back I just wasn't really feeling like uploading FIFA to be honest with you I haven't really been feeling like uploading FIFA for quite some time because the game cycle is pretty dead but I've managed to get my act together and get this video out for you guys and of course I'll finish my career mode series as well in due time but for now we've got the first player of this players to watch out for video and it is Marco Asensio one of the men who was on the thumbnail this is the Espanol attacking midfielder although at the moment he is back at Real Madrid and he'll of course be able to sign him in the first season because he's not recently signed, he's not on loan like he was on FIFA 16. This guy sort of bounced on the scene for Espanyol last season, getting a decent amount of assists, uh, but then scoring an absolute wonder goal in the uh, UEFA Euro Cup, which is obviously the winners of the Champions League against the winners of the uh, Europa League. He can play as an attacking mid and on both wings. He's 19 years of age and his main stats or main good stats are uh, passing, dribbling and curve as well. But the second player on the video or on the list is George Kevin Kudu, the ex Marseille winger. Uh, as I commented, this one I recorded it, he was still at Marseille, but he recently just signed for Tottenham on deadline day. This guy's got 92 acceleration, 92 sprint speed, really good balance and agility, as well as pretty good dribbling, ball control, crossing, etc. This guy actually made it onto the, U the UEFA Best Players in Europe Top 30 list, which is astonishing. So UEFA... Well, the people of Europe, in a poll, decided that he was one of the 30 best players to play in Europe last season. Absolutely astonishing for a player who's so young. He, however, will not be available in the first transfer window because he's just signed for Tottenham. But after that, we've got Gonzalo Maroni of Boca Juniors. Not really much to say about this kid, apart from that he's already broken onto the scene in Argentina and amongst Argentinians is considered the next massive, massive thing to come out of the country. He's got uh, the green sprint speed as well as acceleration agility. Not much more than that. He's 59 overall, but has 79 potential actually already on FIFA 16 at 16 years of age, which is just absolutely insane. High attacking work rate, three star week, but three star skill moves. Watch out for him as very much a wonder kid uh, for next season in terms of age. Not no one won't necessarily have an 88 potential, but certainly look out for him in terms of a youngster. But uh, after that, we've got the Bayer Leverkusen centre-back, Jonathan Tark, who uh, has been on the radar realistically for quite some time. Managed to go to the Euros with Germany. I don't think he made an appearance, but he did get called up. 91 strength on this guy. This season, he has been solid in the Bundesliga for Bayer Leverkusen. It helps that he's playing for a better team now, as opposed to last season. Four-star week for two-star skill moves. Amazing defensive stats and heading accuracy on this guy, as well as decent speed as well for a centre-back, very solid. Uh, his performance has been wonderful in the Bundesliga. I expect a bit of an upgrade maybe for him as well for next FIFA. But after that, we've got Jonathan Leko or Leko of West Bromwich Albion. This is another youngster who sort of just jumped on the scene randomly out of nowhere. He didn't particularly do anything. Um, well, he, well, uh, well, he did do a lot of things. He looked very, very good. You know, when you watch him play, he takes people on. He's got really good pace, really good dribbling in real life and on the game. 78 penalties. Didn't get many assists or goals, but just the fact that he was playing in the senior side for West Brom in the Barclays Premier League... I think he made eight appearances at the end of last season as a 16-year-old. You know, that's massive. For a 16-year-old to be breaking into a senior side in the in the BPL is incredible. He's already got 84 potential, so ex ex sort of expect that to increase for the next game as well. But after that, we've got Mahmoud Dahoud, someone whose name rhymes very just satisfactorily. I don't think if that's a word, but it's satisfaction when you say this guy's name. But he's a 73 overall central midfielder. Another player to impress in the Bundesliga this time for Borussia Mönchengladbach. 81 acceleration on this guy as well as 79 stamina expect him to have very good long passing uh, this FIFA as well he was uh, very well known for that across the Bundesliga season last year really just broke into the squad last year and continued to play there in a team as good as Gladbach that's a very good uh, that that's a you know that's a very good achievement so definitely watch out for him expecting sort of 83 84 potential maybe even 85 actually uh, for him next up we've got one of those players that you've probably never ever heard of before unless you're from Norway this is Berge Solberg Melling the left back who plays for Starbeck in the Norwegian Tipper Lagen, Tipper Lagen League, I think it is. 
pretty impressive to be honest with you. I mean, he's 67 overall, 21 years of age, got 76 potential this year. Um, so he's going to be pretty decent on the next game. This this guy is more of a road to go, uh, road to glory player, really. And he's got good stats as well, 80 balance, good sprint speed, agility, jumping. Um, so yeah, definitely watch out for him if you're starting with a lower league team. I would certainly suggest could probably get him cheap given the league that he's playing, and it's hard to find under the radar left backs these days. So that was Berger Solberg, the Norwegian left back. We'll call him that. But after that, we've got Delhi Ali, uh, someone much more high profile, realistically, than the Norwegian left back that went before him. Uh, what is there more to say about Delhi Ali? One of very few players who's overall has actually been confirmed for FIFA 17. He's going to be 80 overall, I do believe, on the next game, which is absolutely insane. His potential will be through the roof. Can play as an attacking mid, defensive mid, left mid, three star week for three star skill moves, high attacking work rate, 19 years of age, really good stamina as well as attack position, passing, dribbling, all that good stuff. Looks like a very complete midfielder in real life, just needs to work on his consistency, but I'm sure he'll be an incredible all round midfielder when he reaches his potential on FIFA 17. Back under the radar, though, we go and we're back. We're in the Polish league now, we're looking at Jagalonia strike. Karol Swiderski. Now, this is an interesting one because if the if EA have watched the Polish league list this year, like they evidently did last year, because Dragowski was incredible from the Polish league, they may well think that this guy deserves a, certainly a higher overall and a higher potential. He actually scored two free kicks in a row. Would you believe in the Polish league at 18 years of age? That's not bad. Uh, his key attributes really are agility and balance. Balance being 80. Um, but he might be someone again a road to glory you know style player if they've watched the Polish league He'll get like 78 79 potential if they haven't he'll be the same as he is now He's a bit of a sort of a, a Risk, but hopefully he's very good and very under the radar for road to glory type players But the final player on this list is Viktor Kovalenko of Shakhtar Donetsk in the Ukrainian league even though they're the only Ukrainian team on the game which I think still frustrates most people another pretty all-round midfielder 80 stamina as well as good finishing actually crossing dribbling free kick accuracy passing shot power curve volleys a lot of things high attacking work rate can play as an attacking mid or a center mid 74 overall this time round and 19 years of age expecting him to be about 76 overall I think for the next FIFA and to have a pretty damn good potential as well so he's definitely someone to watch out for someone that you already know is going to be good like the likes of you know Deli Ali, Jonathan Tarr, uh, Marco Asensio, but then obviously we had the uh, the under the radar guys as well, Karol Swiderski, the Norwegian left back as well. Um, those guys are a little bit more of a risk if you want to go out and get them straight away because uh, their potentials may not be too high, but again, they'll be amazing pickups for Road to Glory career modes if they are very good, and I'm fully expecting them, given their performances in real life, to be pretty good as long as EA uh, have done their research and have done their homework properly. But that is about it from me. Those are the 10 players for episode number 6 of Players to Watch Out For. If you guys have got any suggestions for players that you want to see in the next episode, then make sure to drop them in the comments section below. If you did enjoy the video, then feel free to hit the likes button. Subscribe if you're new around here as well, and comment about enjoying the video if you enjoyed it that much. But it's been a pleasure ranting at you guys today. Have a great day, enjoy yourselves, and goodbye. No, that's not me. Act like a waste man, that's not me. Sex in the yo, no, that's not me. Lips in the yo, no, that's not me.